sometimes the explanations of physics will look very easy because you'll ask me a question, the explanation of which requires only knowing something that you already know easily. Then I can explain how it works. Other times, you want known more details, and the, exp the explanation involves something that's true that you don't happen to know about. And uh, if, if we talk about the, so that's why sometimes the explanations in physics are very complicated. You have to know a lot of physics to get a good feeling, and you're satisfied. Other times, you'd be satisfied with a quick and easy explanation because it just happens that the. You know something, for example, uh, something about winds or something, and the guy says, well, you know, in the mountains, heat up the air, it gets lighter and goes up. You're satisfied. You know that when you heat up air, it gets lighter. Why? You didn't ask me why. But if you ask me why does the air get lighter when you heat it, then I would tell you, well, you know, air is made out of a whole lot of little balls bouncing. You know what heat is? It's more rapid motion of the bouncing. When they bounce harder, they push each other away by collisions, and so they make a bigger space they occupy by the same number of atoms. So it's lighter, and everything will become more complicated physics or less complicated physics, depending on what you ask and how much detail you want. I must always, in order to answer a question, to be satisfactory, bring it to a point that either you understand it, or I have to say this is an element that you'll have to learn to understand it. Because, you know, we've been studying this a long time, and people have taken tried asking these questions. That's what physics is. That's what science is, asking these perpetual questions perpetually, each one inside the other. And whenever you go, you go down to the last box that you've been able to answer so far. And if you ask that 400 years of such an activity should come down to boxes that are going to be easy for you to understand in two seconds, always, you're asking a lot. And uh, if it was superficial, it would be something that was discovered early. And if it's going to be something discovered late, you're going to have to learn some of the concepts that have been found about the world being made out of atoms, about electrical forces, and all that, which looks complicated because you're not used to it. But it's the way it is. I can't help it. It's just not made out of a simple. As a matter of fact, it's much simpler, not complicated. It's simpler than the real thing, than the things you think are simple. You mix up simplicity and familiarity. It is not simple that ice is slippery. That's complicated, because most things aren't slippery, but most solids. And uh, it's only familiar. And uh, you would like an explanation in terms of springs and rubber bands, but the way they work is very complicated. If they're not simple, electrical forces are much simpler than any rubber band.